Pneumoconiosis is respiratory disease caused by inhalation of mineral dusts. Lung damage is caused when the dust particles are toxic to macrophages, stimulating fibrosis. These particles are usually silicates, often mixed with minerals such as coal and iron oxide. In simple coal workers pneumoconiosis, the nodules are 2 to 5 mm in diameter and there is no clinically significant respiratory impairment. In complicated coal workers pneumoconiosis, nodules are larger than 10 mm, otherwise known as progressive massive fibrosis. It is a progressive disease even after the exposure to coal dust ends, resulting eventually in respiratory failure and core pulmonale. Here is a Gough Wentworth section of the lung from a minor. The black area in the middle is a focus of complicated coal workers pneumoconiosis. This lung shows features of progressive massive fibrosis in complicated coal workers pneumoconiosis. The focus of progressive massive fibrosis almost resembles a lump of coal. It also shows cavitation which frequently occurs in such lesions. In Kaplan's syndrome, there are large pigmented necrobiotic nodules. The patients have complicated coal workers pneumoconiosis and have seropositive rheumatoid disease. The lung nodules may occur before the rheumatoid symptoms develop. Silicosis is caused by inhalation of silica dioxide or quartz. It occurs in miners of slate and coal through granite rocks, exposure to dust from stone and sun grinding, and the silicates are toxic to macrophages, causing proteolytic enzymes to be released, resulting in tissue destruction and fibrosis. In silicosis, there are minute, hard, fibrous nodules that develop, some containing silica particles. Irregular emphysema may occur around the nodules. End-stage diffuse pulmonary fibrosis may occur. And tuberculosis may complicate silicosis due to the impaired macrophage function. The pale area here is an example of a silicotic nodule. Asbestosis is caused by exposure to asbestos. The most dangerous asbestos is crocodylite or Cape Blue asbestos. Asbestos is typically found in brake linings and insulation materials. Symptoms of asbestosis include dry cough, dyspnea and late respiratory crackles. Finger clubbing is also common. In asbestosis, Asbestos fibres collect in the alveoli in the lung bases. Asbestos bodies form when fibres are coated with mucopolysaccharide and hemosiderin. This results in diffuse pulmonary fibrosis and honeycomb lung and the changes are seen predominantly in the lower lobes. The brown rod-shaped object in the middle of the picture is an asbestos body. The presence of asbestos bodies is indicative of exposure to asbestos.